What's up guys, this is Damien with uh, Hosh Online and today we're gonna take a look at the LG Optimus S and it's running the latest version of the uh, CM9 or, or at least for the uh, LG Optimus S uh, it's a Sprint LS670 um, and it's a great ROM and, you know uh, I know right now the talk is Galaxy S3 which is going to be unveiled on the 3rd and the uh, HTC One X and Evo 4G LTE and all those are great phones those are going to be the leading powerhouse devices uh, probably for the rest of the year uh, for um, or at least a great majority of the year but you know one thing about Android is they talk about fragmentation and everything, but Android Android's openness is the is the big reason why I prefer it as a uh, my and uh, my operating system. Um, because I mean, let, the the LG Optimus S, it's a uh, it has humble <laughs> humble specs, um, but it, it runs CM9 uh, almost flawless. Uh, it's very smooth. Now there are some bugs, but I think that, you know, where this takes this phone or this device, it, it, it's it's worth the, the the bugs that you have, for me at least. Um, I have been getting some package files um, signed incorrectly or, you know, if we go to the, to the uh, Play Store and like say we want to download YouTube and we download we click install and it's on Wi-Fi so it should be pretty quick and you'll get this error screen that says package file is invalid I don't know if you can see that but it says package file is invalid. I've been getting that with literally every app. Now it may be a fix. It may be, you know, something simple. But you know, there are there are, uh, I guess, uh, some little little kinks that need to be ironed out. Um, it's a work in progress. So uh, you, I guess you it's, it's it's false to even think that it, it should everything should run perfect and uh, it runs good enough. Uh, there'll be links below where you can download the ROM um, uh, f from the Craven. Uh, it's running on, well, at least mine is running on the uh, ice cream, ice, ice cream uh, kernel. And uh, it's pretty smooth. Uh, another bug is the camera. Now, you look at this and say, okay, wait, the camera is it, not working but it, that would actually be incorrect it's a fully functioning camera even if you click zoom it just does not show the preview of uh, what you're taking a picture of so as I took that picture right now actually you guys Things always go wrong when you try to film a video, right? Because, I mean, it, it's taking a million pictures and, you know, it just doesn't show the preview, but it takes the picture. There we go. So, as you can see, it just took the picture. Um, it just doesn't show the preview. And another picture. So, camera works, you just don't get the preview and I've got all my apps installed widgets work great um, let's look at our end about phone and see what version is I think this is on yeah this is alpha 9 currently so you know and, and like I said it's a work in progress uh, yeah ice cream version oh, version 01 um, I may do a video on how to flash this uh, today. I mean, well, tomorrow, um, because it, it, this flashing on the Optimus S is—I won't say it's a 
more thorough process than flashing on any other phone but it's definitely an involved process um usually you know like say the nexus s4 that the nexus s4 g or epic 4g touch it might be either running odin mobile odin and flashing uh clockwork recovery clockwork mod recovery or you know just flashing it in the latest clockwork recovery and um while i there you go you got the g apps already built in and the kernel is included this you have to it, it, you have to do the kernel you have to do the g apps you have to do the rom you have to it, it's it's a, it's a lot more involved i won't say it's hard it's not necessarily hard it's just a lot more involved than maybe other devices but as you can see it runs very smooth it's a it's really a great rom um, i mean it, like i said it, it, the optimus s has humble specs uh, if you're you know it's a low end phone but you're running the latest android not just ice cream sandwich but you're running 4.0.4 so nobody's got anything on you you've got the the latest android that you can have and you know browser works fine um calls work fine uh this one's not connected to uh, sprint's network actually uh, I use it in Wi-Fi and use Grove IP with a uh, Google Voice to be able to make Wi-Fi call, VoIP calls, and it works great. Uh, text messages through Google Voice, it, it's it's a great little device. Um, I would suggest it maybe to the person who's really not a techie. Um, maybe if you have if you have kids and you want to give them a phone, but you know you don't want to break the bank. And you don't want to give them something that, you know, they may not be that careful and responsible with. And, you know, this thing can get dented up pretty well and it takes a licking and keeps on ticking. And it's not going to break the bank. So it's a good device for something like that. But this is Damien with Hosh Online. And this is the, the LG Optimus S. And this is Cold as I CM9 Sprint ls670 uh, latest update was april 5th uh links below so check it out i think you'll be surprised if you have lg optimus s i, I think you'll be more than surprised um uh, see you next video